guys here i'm back with another room review which is pixis ways 5.1.2 official of course and really thanks to skyboard 350 now let's get started with the review first of all let me show you from the settings and here is the about section and you guys already know about pixis OS and pixel extended pixel experience all this room uh, actually comes with less customization actually there is uh, no extra customization available in those ROMs so don't expect so much but these ROMs are really fluid and smooth and if you are really wanting a uh, just a lighter and a smoother ROM then this is for you and if you don't need any extra customization then this ROM is really perfect for you so here is that let me show you every single details here of course here is the android version 12 security update may 5 uh, to 0 2 and kernel of course pixies by default kernel and Linux status enforcing let me show you that here is that and build number of course so this is official rom and you guys will get a proper update in time to time so no issues with that and here is the system language and input and i'm using here the vanilla build you guys will get both uh, files uh, link in description no problem you guys will get the gfs build and the vanilla build i'm using here vanilla build because vanilla always uh, are lighter in size and you guys can choose any gfs according to your choice so this is it and if you face any problem while flashing then let me know in the comment section and uh, i will drop the link in description so here is the gesture and of course you guys can do a bit customization on system navigation and here is the swipe uh, screenshot and here is one handed mode you guys can easily use one handed mode like this if you want to i already showed in so many videos and just uh, swipe up one handed mode will be disabled so here is the playback control preventing raining and here is the power menu uh, of course and you guys can do a bit customization on navigation pill but just click on setting icon and just scroll down you guys will get gesture bar length if you need long then enable long and if you don't need long then just make it short and then do a reboot your changes will be uh, happened here here is the Google service digital well-being, password and accounts, safety and emergency, location and here is the privacy section, dashboard, autofill service from uh, Google, ads, everything. So no issues. I'm using here Nick Gaps and um, if you want then I will drop that link in description of course, no problem. And here is the security. Of course we have uh, the screen lock and face unlock and fingerprint but we don't have by default app lock so don't worry about that if you want to use third party app lock then you guys can do no problem and here is the accessibility of course text and display you guys can change here the font size and display size bold text color correction color inversion whatever you need you can do then we have of course wallpaper and style by default we have only one single wallpaper and if you need themed icons to enable then you can you guys can use i don't like it so i don't want to use that here and you guys can directly enable dark theme from here then of course go here the sound section we have so many things there actually uh, touch sound touch vibration dial pad tones vibrate on connect and screenshot sound every single customization regarding sound section you guys will get here so no issues with that and phone ringtone you guys can change from here so many ringtones are there then here is the theme section which is differently categorized here and if you want to use custom color then enable this one and if you want to use the black theme then you guys can use that and here is the uh, changes according to the custom color and I don't need that so I just want to disable it and here is the original color according to wallpaper so here is that and then of course storage and battery and here you guys can see I just uh, charge it once and here is the battery manager you guys uh, need to enable that feature better percentage you guys will get that here battery estimates 
uh, everything is here and here is the battery users uh, Geekbench, Instagram, YouTube I just did uh, use uh, some applications I didn't play games so here is that and battery backup still I found it's great uh, no issues with that and uh, my device got almost more than four years so uh, still I am using that official battery which comes with the uh, device and still I'm getting best performance so no issues with that if your battery is new and if your device is not much older then you will get more battery backup no issues with that and no extra customizations uh, network and internet settings as usual you guys will get all the necessary customizations that's it and uh, I am using here that GFs and of course GFs is certified so no issues with that let me show you here is the yes net let me show you the safety net and I already rooted my device so let me show you that so uh, basic integrity and uh, evaluation CTS profile everything is pass so no issues with that and I am I already rooted my device with Magix Manager and it's still safety net is passed and if you don't know how to pass the safety net after routing Android 12 and I already provided the video just check the description you guys will get that video no issues with that you just need that module just flash it and your problem will be solved and let me show you the Geekbench right now here is the Geekbench and which is really great uh, 266138 single and multi core but I don't believe in those paperwork so that's why um, if Geekbench is good then CPU throttling is bad so here is the proof let me show you so here you can see uh, CPU throttle to 78 percent which is uh, not so bad and not so great but it's good it, usable no problem I didn't face any problem in real life users so here is the smoothness and it's a bit better smoother than the blaze 1.1 version which I already provided the review so you guys can also check that out this is really smooth really very smooth and animation is quicker and faster than blaze OS so as it, we don't have extra customization in that room so that's why uh, you guys will get more smoothness this is cool the animation every single uh, animation from the single applications are really great really great and RAM management is really perfect in that room I found here so let me show you I already opened so many tabs here you guys can see no problem with that is smoothly just performing no issues and I installed the Arnova G cam and which is doing better here no issues with that you guys can uh, easily use video portrait and camera normal at night side of course you guys can use and here is the astrophotography just enable and then click to uh, use here is astrophotography working so no problem with that it won't take so much time uh, just a bit time to process the SDR plus so that's why I can recommend you guys to use that Gcam for now and by default we have that Gcam sorry uh, just like Gcam but not Gcam so but you guys can easily use no issues with that um, that's all and no extra application you guys will get so no blotter nothing you guys will get a clean experience and on control center you guys will get unnecessary customization screencast is off but I I think screencast is working I don't have the device to test screencast but screencast is working uh, I think here in that room and I hope you guys understand everything and if I miss anything then just let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching